Mucky1000 and today I am doing a review on things that I was not happy with on Timu. And um, there was a few things, not everything, but you know, I, there, I liked most of it, so I'll let you know that. But there are a few things I wanted to go over just in case you guys are shopping and you want it or, you know, be alert, you know, for, for these things that were not the best. Um, the one thing I did not bring in the house I, I'm kind of really disappointed was the car um, thing for Bruno so he can't get in the front seat and he hopped right over it. <laughs> so I think that was mainly for a regular car and not a van. Um, my, I mean I have an SUV so um, I think if it was more for an SUV, maybe he taller, he wouldn't have been able to do that. But as soon as we put it up and we got in the car with him, and yeah, he hopped in the front. <laughs> so I didn't bring it in with me, but um, yeah, it's still out there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's kind of feasing the purpose. <laughs> He's smarter than the average dog. Yes, he is. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, my mom's home from the hospital. She's hanging in there. She's got a little monitor thing right here. And they give her a little heart. That's cute. <laughs> no. I didn't buy that on Timu, though. <laughs> no, you didn't buy it on Timu. They don't sell pacemakers. <laughs> no, they might one day, though. Okay. And, of course, Bruno wants to be up here. Of course. He's part of the family. All right. Anyways, so let's get this going, and we'll be right back as soon as I can put Bruno somewhere. Okay, so the first one is these towels. Now you got three of them. We got a washcloth, and we got this hand towel, and then we got a regular big towel. I'm just going to show you this one because it was handy. <coughs> um, no, nobody likes this. Nobody <coughs> in this house likes these. They're very, very soft. Too soft. They're too. They don't absorb the wetness when you get out of the shower. The towel is wet, and um, Shaver did not even like the feel of these. He said, nope, don't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> he did not like it. So I will not buy these again, but I'm glad I tried them. I do, what I do like on here is the little hook on there. I, I do like how you have a little hook where you can hang them wherever it is. It's right here. <laughs> and they have it on the towel, too, and the washcloth. So that's cute. You know, that's 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 handy. Um, but for absorbent, no. This will not work at all. So um, not for us anyways. If you like really, really soft ones, go for it, you know. But we do not. And there's three of us in this house, and... No, but we did buy some towels we like. Yes. Okay. Next thing I'm disappointed in is this little doodad. Okay. This thing I tested and I was very disappointed because it did come out. What I did, I had to fold it back in there and um, so I could use it. And every time I get it wet and it gets heavy, it comes out like nothing. You know, it's easy. See how easy that is? So I'm disappointed in this. So I went to Dollar Tree, got me another one from Dollar Tree, and see how tight it is? The tighter they are, the better they are. And the hoop is better. On this one, what happened, it's like the hoop here, you can, you can adjust it. It's like I can move it, and I put it, I think I put a knot in it now. But you can move it up and down. And it wasn't tight enough. It wouldn't stay. Yeah, see, I'm, I just moved it. So, um, you can see that, hopefully. I should bring it up closer. Because people are saying they can't see me so far away. So, um, yeah. So, this thing here makes a big difference. Because what I did, I just tried to tuck it under. And, um do it that way. I was very disappointed in this because I love these things and I like them to last, you know, because if you rinse them out, these things will last a long time. You don't have to go buy them every month or every couple of months. That's ridiculous. And I've had, I have patients actually put them in the washing machine and they wash them. Oh, yeah. 
I had a patient, and that's what she did with them. She would wash them every once in a while, put it in the washing yeah. machine. And they come out fine. But I don't think you have to. I think if you rinse it off after using, get all the soap out and squeeze it, you're done. You know? It's no, no different than having your toothbrush just sitting out. Another thing we were kind of disappointed in is this little blue dab for your feet. Now, my mother had a hard time because she's in a, in a chair, a shower chair, so um, she couldn't put her feet down hard enough. She couldn't get it down far enough to, to get it going. But I see that they are wearing already. I put it on the floor of the tub and I will put some soap on there and I'll put my feet back and forth. But I felt the soap, part of the soap that I'm using, not this thing, is drying my feet. So I stopped using it. So it's hanging on my wall in the shower and not being used. So, but it was a great idea. Um, but I don't think these nibbies are as hard as they need to be because you can tell they're they're kind of going. So they could start falling out soon. You know, you never know. Another thing I was disappointed in was my purse, okay? I'm using it. I am using it. But the strap broke. I was at the hospital visiting her, and my strap completely broke. And what I had to do, I had to re-sew it. Not a big deal. But I wanted people to be aware that, you know, be careful with these straps because all they had to do was put an extra stitch in it, and it would have been fine. But the stitching came off, and that's how it broke. It didn't break itself, it just came unraveled. So they needed to put some more stitching in the sides of these. Because yeah. people put a lot of stuff in their purses. Yeah, they jam them full. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how big or small they are. So another thing is, was my shirt. Now I wear this shirt a lot. I love this shirt. But I was disappointed. It is already starting to ball. I've worn it maybe, what, four or five times, you think? Yeah. Yeah. So it's starting to ball already. Inside, you can tell. And it's very see-through. See it's very thin, which is fine with me because I don't like hotness. And anyway, so I was going to the hospital, and I had this on. And this thing, as you see, I have to sew it. It broke. It broke. So I put a pin there because I was get, I had to go, uh, you know, I didn't have time. So um, it must have did it in the wash because it was fine when I wore it the last time and then I found out and I didn't even realize it until after I put it on. So I have to sew that one. I have to get the needle out and sew it. But I mean, it's because I didn't put enough stitch in it again. They're not doing enough stitches on these side things well, here. Well, they're doing quickly. Yeah, they're they're doing so fast that you're lucky if you get one one little thread in there, you know. And they unravel. You have to make sure that stuff is gonna stay. <laughs> I think. When you bought it, I never even thought of that. Oh, well, I didn't think so either because you know you you buy things and see they this is how they stitch it. Uh, let me see. So this is how they stitch it here on this side. But it was just that they didn't do enough. There wasn't enough. So it all came unraveled. So, But it can be fixed. Yeah, it's not like I'm not ever going to buy things from them again because of it. No. no, because, you know, that's life. Maybe it got caught up in the washing machine. Who Maybe, knows? You know, and it, and it just came undone. I don't know. I, I'm saying there's not enough thread there. Just like my purse. But those are the things I was not happy with. No, we're happy with a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot, a lot of stuff, especially that comb that they use for oh. curly oh. hair for tangles. Well, let me go get it. That's Hold on, and I'll go get it so they know what they're talking here. Talking about this little thing here. This thing is marvelous. It's the best thing we've ever bought. Oh, look, it has all these wavy things. So if you got the tangles, now I watched a video and a girl bought this and she didn't like it. She got it for her daughter who had very curly hair and it got tangled all the time like my hair does. It gets very tangled all the time. So, but she wasn't using it in the shower. 
she used it as a comb and that's how she was trying to get the tangles out so I wrote her and told her the best thing to do this is get in the shower wash your hair the best you can with the knots in it then put some cream rinse in your hair and then brush this with the cream rinse in it and then rinse your cream rinse out and this thing is amazing I haven't had a tangle I use it every time I have a shower which is almost every day and I have had no tangles on my hair and it, my hair is shinier yeah. I use it on her hair yeah. her hair is shinier and she doesn't get as much tangles as I do but um oh my god this is a well, lifesaver for while me while I was in the hospital my they didn't wash my hair you know I had to beg them to comb it for me and um it, it it was wonderful it took any tangles i had in it out as soon as i got home we did my hair over the sink and um it worked really good i think it's the best thing we bought from timu yeah I and think so. whoever invented it a marvelous one. yeah i wish i had this when i was a kid because oh, yeah. i had the measles remember when i had the measles yeah and I couldn't lift my head up off the pillow for over a week. I think it was 10 days. And uh, I had knots like that was like this. Yeah. And they had three hairdressers trying to get it out and never did. They got some of it up, but not all of it. So they ended up cutting my hair. My hair was all the way down my back then. <laughs> <You know. laughs> so I lost a lot of my hair. So, um, yeah. So I wish I would have had that then. I would have had all those tangles out. Yeah. But you got to get in the shower and you got to do it with conditioner. That's how That's you work That's the secret. This. Yeah. Um, just using it to brush, you can, but I, I don't think you're going to get the effect that you did, especially if you got lots of knots in your hair at the moment, you know that you want to use it. So afterwards, you know, you could probably use it. But I leave this over by my shower stuff and I use it in the shower. That's the only time I use this. And I don't need it after that. It's been marvelous. Anyways, that's it for now. It's going to be a very short one. I just wanted you to, to, to know what I didn't like. Um, I mean, I didn't hate them. The only thing I really hate, I was really upset about this sucker. Really. Because I bought them at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and got better results than this. I only had this a few weeks. And I think it was uh, last week it started acting up. So when I went to Dollar Tree, I went and got me another one. So I don't think I will buy those off of there again, um, unless I see somebody who had something different. They have different ones on there. I don't think I'd buy that one again. So, anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you have a great week. Um, anything you want to say, Mom? No. Nope. We we'll, we'll be not buying more and doing more videos. <laughs> she likes doing these videos, but. Uh, yeah, I have a Timu haul coming um, soon. It's on its way. It's at the airport somewhere. <laughs> That's what I was told. So it should be here by the 10th, I think they said. Yeah, so. Yeah, we've been getting them quite regularly. It still takes a long time. I mean, well, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not as bad as Wish was, though, I don't think. I, I Sometimes I order stuff on Wish and it would take a month. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then you worry because you're wondering if it's ever going to show up, if someone stole it in the mail or whatever. But they don't really tell you too much. I mean, you can go and check where it is, but they don't, you know. So, anyways, that's it for now, guys. I hope you have a great week, and we're out. Monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all.